now we're rolling. Oh my. Okay. All right, man. Great. So continuing from what I was just saying, I am so gosh darn excited to be back on the Camasonian Tea Time podcast. Can you please introduce yourself to the audience? Please? Yes. My name is Angelo Lucchini, uh, and I'm a senior in high school this year. My name is Leo Wilson, and I am a junior in high school this year. All right. Awesome. Um, so, Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, oh, who yeah. do you guys play in the play? I play Lysander. He's sort of this dude, uh, wealthy-ish merchant type of guy who's in love with this one girl named Hermia. And pretty much plot of the story, we run away together into the woods because um, Hermia's father, Aegeus, it does not want me to marry Hermia. And wants this other guy, Demetrius, to marry Hermia. So we decide to run away together. But then we end up getting bewitched and put a spell over Don't us. Don't give away the whole thing. Okay, well, we end up... I stuff to... happens. Yeah, okay. Stuff happens. Awesome. Uh, who do you portray in the play? I play a character named Francis Flute. He is a part of a group called the Mechanicals, who are the opposite of Lysander. They're very poor. They're just hardworking men in Athens. It's really fun. We're a group of actors, and it's quite nice. All right. Were those the roles that you were seeking out uh, when you auditioned for the play? I went into the audition process wanting to be Hermia, but then I got called back for flute. And once I looked back at his lines, I was like, oh, that's who I want to be. And that's who I got cast as. So I was quite happy with it. Yeah. Do um, do you feel like uh, in some ways, do you relate to your character? Yeah, definitely. In what ways? Um. Well... So Flute is, he's a young man who, like, because he's so young and he looks very youthful, he keeps getting cast as women because in Shakespeare's time, men played, like, all the parts in a show. Um, and I don't know. It just kind of feels like it connects to me because I'm, like, a trans individual here. So I don't know. It feels like it connects in that way. Awesome. What about you, Angelo? Um, Lysander, I mean, sort of yes and no. I mean, he's sort of this, I don't want to say like stuck up kind of <laughs> he weird not really personality. Yeah, yeah, not really. But I mean, it's it's fun playing a character where I get to be all whack and fun <laughs> and funny. Get so, to have that kind of release. Yeah. Okay. And going into the audition process, I was originally auditioning for one of the mechanicals bottom, um, which I was looking over before the audition process. And I was like, this seems like a really fun character to play, which it is because Elijah Hackle, who plays bottom in the show, is super funny. It's amazing. But I ended up getting cast as Lysander, which again, reading the part, I was like, this is a, this looks like a fun character. It really fits what I'm looking for. I'm asking this question just because I've seen uh, other interviewers ask this for like movies, which who between you do you think is more like their character? I never actually thought about that. It's a good question. I don't know. Who do you think, uh, which character you think would win in a battle to the death? Oh, Lysander. <laughs> oh, Lysander? I guess, maybe. I don't know. He seems higher class. He seems like he could have taken like a fencing lesson or two at some oh, point. Yeah. So, mm. And I'm like, my character's like basically a prepubescent boy. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I really stand much of a chance. There is like, like we never, ha they never told us like, any, we don't know how old we are. Oh, right. I mean, we I can have an idea, I guess. I have a general idea. But it really isn't like a set age okay. on anybody. Everybody's just kind of like... Young man. Young men or young women, yeah. Except for Aegeus. Yeah, except for Aegeus. Aegeus is a... Old guy. Old, old man. <laughs> the only old guy. Yeah. The, oh. Interesting. You, I think there was already a social post for the Camasoni where you said your favorite line of the, oh, yeah. of the play. Do you have a favorite scene? Favorite scene? Definitely the part where Lysander gets slapped. Okay. It's super fun. <laughs> Wait, oh, so, okay. Yeah. You, you like that scene? It, it's funny. All right. Can I ask a real question? Does she actually slap you or is it like fake? Because it looks really real. Oh, is she? I actually get slapped. Oh, okay. That's yeah, what yeah, I was awesome. wondering. That's, I mean, it's, it's a stage slap. <laughs> that's, but that's, what the, that's the tea. Yeah. That's the, what the <laughs> there we go. Get that inside Angel job right there. Getting, any, any, I am actually getting slapped. Any on pent the show. up Jesus frustration between you guys? <laughs> um, for me, I would say my favorite scene. Um, I don't know. I really like when the lovers have like a really big fight with like every one of each other because they get a shout a lot and it's just really fun to listen to. I agree. That part's super fun. 
Yeah. Do you have, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm not an actor. I don't know how different it is between like film and TV and, and plays, but do you have a, an actor or uh, that you like get inspired from or that you study their kind of technique? I wouldn't say I study like actors technique. I do like take note when I'm watching performances, even though half the time like my anxiety is getting to me and I'm like thinking about like, what if I traded places right now with one of the actors on stage and I messed up the whole show? Um, but I'd say one of my favorite like musical theater actors would be um, Patrick Page. So I really like looking at what he does because he's really good. Yeah, I don't generally, I, not not really for me. I don't really look up to anybody in, in particular. Um, it's sort of just... Forge your own path. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just sort of like, like Leo was saying, I just sort of, whenever I watch like a musical or a play, I'll just be like, oh, that's something they do. I could apply that to what I'm doing. Okay. So, If you feel that there is a specific reason, could you tell me what it is that draws you to drama or acting? Like what your favorite part of it is, I guess. Um, motivation. I don't know. I've been involved in theatrical productions since I was in elementary school. So I don't really know. I think I've thought back to like how I originally got into it. And I think it was kind of just, I read about like theater kids in like comic books and stuff. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a fun group to be part of. So I kind of just joined it. Oh, oh, um, I remember now. <laughs> There's actually something that did get me into theater. Um, when I was younger, I went and watched uh, like a, a middle school production of Wizard of Oz. Mm. And that's when I was like, oh, I want to be in that show. I never, I've not been in Wizard of Oz, but. How old are you when that happened? Probably like uh, seven or eight. Okay. So it was like a while ago. <laughs> um, and while I'm not one of those people that does like three shows a year, like one of my friends, um, I do like. I do really enjoy being a part of it and it's really fun. Have you had a favorite experience so far with like the cast and crew throughout the production? For me, just honestly hanging out in between like shows. I mean, not shows. Um, in, like when, when one, some people are doing a scene and the other people are just hanging out in yeah. the green room waiting. I mean, we all just sort of hang out or do our own thing. It's, it's pretty fun. I really like, um, listening to music while getting into costume and makeup and stuff that's fun we were listening to christmas music yesterday <laughs> oh yeah and um our costume designer was very annoyed at us because she was saying it wasn't time yet oh okay um, and then another time i do like hanging out with people in the green room but half the time i'm also doing homework but i do like um sitting down and like having dinner with everyone because during uh tech and dress week we don't go home until later so we have dinner some like parents of the kids in the program bring dinner and so that's pretty fun that kind of does make me think of another question all right when uh where do you stand on the debate of christmas music oh when when, it, when it's time or in just christmas in general christmas decorations because i know where i stand but i want to know where you stand i'm one of those people who's right after halloween november really? 30 or never for november, november 30th 1st. yeah i'm a november 1st person november 1st definitely christmas music really I also just like the the feeling of Chris like it's getting to Christmas time, so it's getting colder. It is, the the build up to Christmas yeah. is actually oh, yeah. honestly way better than the actual Christmas day because it's like a couple hours and you're like, okay, yeah. well, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's noon, Christmas is over, mm -hmm. and then the next day uh, on the twenty sixth, you're like, wow, guess uh, it's really guess over. It's really guys. cold. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I also just don't like rain. Oh, really? So when when I heard it was supposed to be like a rainy Christmas this year or like a rainy winter. I was like, God, God. I, I like snow. Okay. I like ice. You know, I really like it when it's impossible to drive yeah. personally, you know. Just kind of like going on the roads, you know, yeah, drifting around. Cruising, you mm -hmm. know. 60 on the freeway. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, getting back to the previous conversation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where, do you guys, where do you guys see yourself going with acting? Whenever I have free time in later years, it's not going to be during high school it might be during college, is I want to try and get more into the dance part of theater because I want to be 
I don't know. I think about it as like a triple threat. Like I'm already moderately <laughs> good at acting and like singing, especially since joining choir. But dancing is literally the worst thing that I could have ever done. I go out there and um, my first dance audition for this school, um, it got really complicated really fast. And then my, my legs were moving in like the right way sometimes. But then my arms were just kind of swinging around like one of those... Um, the car balloons. Oh, like the <laughs> yeah. <whee! laughs> so I just really want to get better at dancing. But other than that, I just really want to keep doing it. Um, and like, if not theater, then music. Because I'm in the band and I play clarinet oh. and I really do enjoy it. Sometimes more than theater. But Ooh, yeah. shots fired. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Don't tell Mr. Kelly. Don't tell him. Do you think he's going to listen to this? I, tr- okay. I tried to have him on the pod. Oh, uh, really? Yeah, I know. You should. Why didn't, isn't he here? Didn't get back to my email. Oh. oh, but I mean, I guess he's probably pretty busy, right? We'll go. Yeah. I'll go bother him after this. Don't worry. Yeah, he'll he'll see it. Yeah. We'll break into it. It's for you, Mr. Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> um. Why were hey, you here? <laughs> you, can, you can still you can still be on the pod. It's, yeah, it's not yeah. over. Mm-hmm. She's not over. I mean, I've asked all my questions. Uh, how, how did you guys enjoy the tea? Oh, it's, it's actually tea. pretty good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Did you did we all have the pineapple lychee? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. This tea is incredible. I think like. No bias. I don't know. I wasn't able to get the bag out of the tea, so it's just been sitting in yeah, there. Yeah, I'll take care so of that. Don't worry. A little... I like it, though. I'm How almost do you... done. Very I, flavorful. I'm, I think I also have the smallest mug. She gave me the smallest mug. Like, yeah. What the? Come on. I mean, we could always Rude. switch. I like your mug better than mine. Yeah, that's Yours is very colorful, and it looks like SpongeBob. It's Christmas themed, because we're Christmas. Like, ah, oh, okay. I. Yeah. From, the, from behind, it looks like SpongeBob. Yeah. Pause. Well, Angela, where are you in... The yeah. future with acting because you didn't oh answer. yeah oh, you didn't right. answer yeah. that yeah there was a lot of questions you didn't answer i'm sorry i oh, talked really? too much oh no it's, it's okay. all good um i don't honestly see myself doing really anything with acting after <gasps> high school um, <laughs> i'm sort of I'm, I'm sort of i'm sort of just doing it kind of for fun and just for the fun of being in a show me and my mom go see shows at the armory a lot down in portland um if there's a show that they, maybe they're doing after i graduate that i could possibly possibly audition for i might but i'm kind of I'm I'm looking more into the after high school I'm g- gonna go definitely into culinary that's my that's my Ooh, plan. okay you got a favorite cuisine all of them all of them all that's food. yeah okay I just like to eat honestly that's so real yeah all right you guys have any final words of wisdom to impart onto the you should audience listen to this podcast you that- should listen to this podcast. If you're already listening, yeah, you should keep listening. Yeah, if that, is pretty, listening, that is pretty. That is wise. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Keep, keep, stay tuned for the next episode. You oh, yeah. should come oh, see wow. our play. What, what amazing! Yeah, you should definitely come see the play. Hopefully, I can edit it. Yeah, in come time. see the play. Midsummer's um, Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. Plug, plug it right now. Plug it. Yeah, we hope we open Friday. Friday tomorrow. Just tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I don't know if you're watching this after, but you'll probably, hopefully, you'll be seeing this on Thursday night, uh, the sixteenth, if I can get it done in time. And then, so, tomorrow and Saturday, Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching and listening, actually, because you're probably not even watching. All right, thank you.